So the next question that I was asked, what are the three best sports for cross training in fencing? Okay. Um, I would say squash, maybe. What do you think, Ahmed? That's a, so when I, that question is very interesting. Uh, and I'm trying to really see what are they asking? Um, are they ask, are, are they asking, um, should I do these three other sports for my conditioning or, um, yeah, I was just trying to understand really where that question is for me. For so me, my, so my interpretation of the question was like, when, when, th when it's the fencing off season, what are the sports that I can do, which would help me the most when the fencing okay. comes back? Awesome. Oh, okay. All right. Um, <laughs> If you're a young kid, you know, um, you know, I go ahead and do different sports. I'm all for that. Um, when you start, um, where fencing is your sport now, and you're centered, you're focused on that, and you know that's what it is, right? I wouldn't necessarily say that you need to do uh, different other sports for your um, conditioning. Um, it's going to be as what Kelly and I were saying, what the uh, conditioning work is going to be. That's what you want to do. And then also you want to make sure that you are recovering. It's very important. Recovery <laughs> is so important, right? So I'm saying, hey, you're going to do the conditioning work as we talked about the sprinting, the you know agility work and all that stuff, right? But, you know, also make sure you um, are recovering What also. I don't necessarily... <laughs> I don't necessarily think you need to do three other sports no. uh, during that time uh, when you're also doing, you know, yeah, it's off season, but you're still fencing, you know, so, so I wouldn't, yeah. Yeah. So the, I don't think it was interpreted as like, I want to do three sports during the off season. Like what are, what are maybe the best three to choose one from, for example? Right. So I, I think that it is important for kids to continue to play other sports. Yeah. Um, I was like, as a kid, I, started my very first sport was soccer and that was i wanted to be on the canadian national soccer team um but fencing <laughs> um yeah, yeah. and i skied in the winter and i think it's important to do a little bit of other things i don't think there's like one sport that's gonna benefit most but i think i definitely got my legs a lot stronger from uh downhill skiing uh soccer too and i know a lot of athletes that came from soccer to fencing so there might be something to it um but uh the one that's like the most similar in terms of like movement and like coordination i would say is squash yeah i would actually add to that not just squash but i think all the the racket sports have not just similar like footwork but you want to position yourself in the right way and the the tactical games that you play in all the um the racket sports are pretty similar to fencing it's like, am I going to pretend to hit the ball to the right and actually hit it to the left? So, like, the mind game for there is, is, is similar as well. And a lot of those tactics and the footwork transfer into your fencing, too. So I would personally def definitely recommend racket sports if you're looking for something during the off season and you want to stay in shape. Yeah, yeah. Um, what I'll say for me and my uh, – and I'm just using myself personally. The other sport I did was uh, track and field. Um, and so – before. But not long distance, you said, right? <laughs> not long distance. I was a sprinter, um, 200, 100 meter. And uh, so I was doing that definitely before fencing and when I started fencing, the earlier part of uh, my fencing. Um, and I didn't do any strength training. I didn't know about strength training. But what I would say is that that made me definitely that sprinting and uh, that track and field definitely made me a – definitely strong athlete where I was extremely fast on the strip um, uh, and where I was just confident that I was stronger than my uh, opponent getting on the strip, honestly. I wouldn't even say that, um, yes, I understood fencing, but was I able to break it down? Let's say uh, I'm going to use my teammate Ivan, you know, how he can you know, methodically break down um, when he was uh, – fencing with an opponent, what I used a lot was just my athletic ability. And that definitely transferred over from the uh, um, sprinting. 
mm -hmm. and being a track athlete, without a doubt. Like I know that for a fact that transferred over. So I would get on a strip. Cool. And I was just confident that you know what, I'm faster than this person, and I'm going to use that. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 And similarly, I got that same feeling like growing up playing soccer and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I feel like that definitely like grooved that fast twitch muscle in, in my body and like taught my body to like like have my nervous system like fire quickly kind of thing absolutely 